Field of seven, condition field, they go for 1,075, Miss Julie Pepper. On the rail for Timmy Gillis, La Playa Deo, Mark Campbell, Lion Swift, and J.J. McDonald. Tucker's Best and Zach Mullins, Dirty Bobby, and a Redmond Doucette. J.G.'s Fireball, Campbell McIsaac in the back, Taylor Warrior returns to the raceway. Colin Shepard in the sulky. Six on gate, one is late. Feel a seven comes through the lanes at the Inverness Raceway on gathering will uh, down off the gate and away and Tucker's best. Heads out full, Ethan Zach Mullins, Miss Chili Pepper and at the rail is second. Up here third on the outside heading into the turn and getting into the two hole looking for it. He's gonna keep on going. Mark Campbell and La Playa Deo. Goes up front on the lead, driving second. That is Tucker's best in third. And at the rail, up here in the outside, but that is Lion Swift. Stable turn for the first time now in a hurry. There on the outside after an opening quarter, 29 and two fifths. That's J.J. McDonald and Lion Swift. It looks like up front on the lead, approaching the half mile now. We'll get a closer peek here. And up front on the lead, and that is Lion Swift's. Tucker's best is out here, second on the outside. La Playa Deo, Miss Chili Pepper, JG's Fireball, Sue Warrior, and Dirty Bobby's in the backfield. And on the backside toward the three quarters. Uh, 59 and one-fifth by the half. Lion Swift to J.J. McDonald is out front. Tucker's best is going the other way. In at the rail, La Playa Deo. Dirty Bobby in traffic in the backfield there. J.G.'s fireball is coming. Over towards the 7-H turn now, and Lion Swift has La Playa Deo right there on his back, and Mark Campbell, 130 by three quarters, but Lion Swift, this three-year-old son of Stay Hungry, brings him on through the lanes. La Playa Deo is gonna take a run. He doesn't look like he's gonna get there, but Mark Campbell can team. Lion Swift up to win it. Second La Playa Deo, Dirty Bobby. One fifty nine and three fifths, Lion Swift, J. J. McDonald.
This is the Colin Basker Memorial Pace and the Entourage heading out to the winner's enclosure to welcome back the winner, Lion Swift and J.J. McDonald. Colin Basker was an owner of such horses as Persian Queen, Banks Bomber, and in later years, all systems go. He was at the track with his father, Chris, as a young fella. He introduced his own son, Will, to harness racing, of which Will is still involved today. This blanket is presented to the winning horse here in the fourth in memory of Colin Basker. And arriving back from lower turn, heading to the race four's winter circle, is the three-year-old Bay Pacing Gelding by Stay Hungry at the Panderosa Mare and Rosa Hanover. This horse was bred at the Hanover Shoe Farms Incorporated out of Pennsylvania. J.J. McDonald is the owner driver Lanny Hanscomb is the trainer capturing top honors 159 and three fifths second win on the season third overall to the winner of the Colin Basker Memorial Pace. Congratulations, JJ. Miss Chili Pepper was four. La Playa Dale was second. Lion Swift, the winner. Tucker's best. Finish seven. Broken equipment over check. Dirty Bobby was three, JG Fireball five, and Sue Warrior was six. 59 and two, 59 and one. 29 and two at the quarter, 59 and one. 130 by the three quarters, 159 and three fifths. Top the program in review. It should read four two one seven three five six. 159 and three fifths. Second win on the season. J.J. McDonald in the Salt Gate. 12 10, 11 50, and 260 for Lion Swift. La Playa Dale, 360, 210. Dirty Bobby, 210. Quinella Combination, 3 and 2, 2 and 3. It can back 1680. 3, 2, and 5. Try $80.10. $80.10. Up and coming in the fifth. It's the Hal Habich Memorial Pace. Up and coming here in the fifth. They go for 1,200. The entries are going as programmed. Up and coming in the fifth. It's the Hal Habich Memorial Pace. Our 50-50 on sale in the paramutual area will draw upon completion of race number nine.
Lots of donations here this evening for the Harness, the Hope, McFarland, Gillis Contracting donated $1,500. Then we had uh, Amos Monster, Cape Breton West Construction, they donated $500. B.A. Watson uh, Construction, our good friend Barry Watson, he donated $500. Zetfin Contracting Incorporated, they donated. $500. The funds raised will be going to the Inverness Consolidated Memorial Hospital. Harness the hope, pretty in pink. Testing on the back side, testing one, two, three. Up and coming in the fifth, the Hal Habich Memorial Pace. And the entries going as programmed in the fifth. For those of you just arriving,